is. It's so amazing! Hi, I'm Maya the Science Kid. If you're new to my channel, you should know that I love reading books. And I've done many book reviews, as well as, well as some science videos. And I've recited some poems and a speech. Maybe because I've been reading so many books, or maybe not, the last time we went to an annual checkup, they said that I might need glasses. So today, we're going to the eye doctor to see if I need glasses or not. Some people might not want to get glasses or may feel scared or anxious, but I can't wait to get glasses. Because when I get glasses, things that are farther away won't be blurry anymore. Yesterday I went to the eye doctor and they found out that I do need glasses. But the first thing they did when I got there was they sat me in front of this machine and the machine had a picture which was a tree and a road and some grass on both sides. And then um, they, they did something to make it less blurry. Like the, the picture was blurry but they did something that made it so that the picture wasn't blurry. And then they did it for my right eye and then they did it for my left eye. And then they um, had these things that went like poof in my eye, like poof, poof in my eye. Like I think it was just like air and they just poofed it in my eye. And then we went to a room. And the room had a fancy chair and a not so fancy chair. And Daddy sat in the not so fancy chair and I sat in the fancy chair. And um, then they said, okay. And then they had like a board that said letters like of different sizes and they said, okay, read the letters. So I read the letters. And then they uh, set, put some binoculars, and then they said, okay, now we're going to put some crazy binoculars on you. And they did that. And then they did something, and they were like choices. And I think there's like glass, different glasses sort of thing. And they like exchanged the eyes, and then just exchanged the lenses. And then I chose the ones that were less blurry. So then I did that. And then they said, they filled out the paperwork and said, yes, you need glasses. And then we looked at, but the what glasses that they had there, the frame that I got to choose from, I didn't like that. But today we're going to go look at some more glasses that I might like better. So here we go. I've gone to four different stores already and they still and we still haven't found any glasses. So we're going to go all the way to a Costco in a different county to see if they finally have some glasses for me. And we already have one that we could choose, but we're going to go to this Costco first. And hopefully they have some glasses. Just finding the frame isn't even enough, because it has to fit your face, your nose, your head. It has to be the right color, and it has to be the right shape, and you have to like it. And it has to, like, stay on your face. So, we went to store number one. And that was the same place that we got my eyes tested. And then we went to, but they didn't have anything. And then we went to another store. They had, like, one thing, but we wanted to see more.
but they were closed. So we'd have to wait till like tomorrow. Monday. Till Monday. And then that would take two days. And then after we got them on Monday, it would take us another three weeks to get the glasses because it took them three weeks to make it. So we're going to go to Costco to see if that's better because Costco only has one week wait and they're open and we want to get them like really soon. So we're going to go to Costco to see if they have anything that we'd like. We finally found glasses at Costco and we found, so we went there and we found a bunch of glasses and then we decided on one of them that was like really good. It fit me and everything. And then we went to the checkout lady and she said, you get $30 off if you get two of them. So we got another glasses that was really good that also fit me. And then we got those two glasses. So then in a week or a little bit less maybe, we're going to get the glasses. And then we're gonna go back and I'm gonna get glasses and then nothing will be blurry anymore. Unless I take my glasses off. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Yes! It's so exciting! I mean, I finally won't have to be a blurry world. Yeah. So, we found the glasses, and now we're just waiting for maybe even less than a week. And it, that's perfect timing because uh, from today on for like a week is actually a little bit more than a week is spring break. So then, by the time I go back to school, then it won't be spring break, and then I'll have glasses. Yes, very exciting. Yes, finally. Let's talk about why I actually needed the glasses. So, cause it has to do with my eye, and. When you look at the eye, there's different types of problems you can encounter that make you either blind, nearsighted, farsighted, vision loss, stuff like that. This is the human eye that I drew. And the part that you see when you look into the mirror is your pupil, which is the black dot in the middle, which isn't actually like a dot, but it's a hole. So that's why it's black. And then there's the iris. And the iris can change the size of the pupil depending on when, because when the light comes in, if a lot of light is coming in, your eye becomes smaller because it needs less light. But when only a little bit of light is coming in, your, eye, your pupil becomes bigger not your, sorry, not your eye, your pupil becomes bigger so that you can take in more light. Which is why you can see in the dark only after a little while because your pupil is still trying to get bigger. And this part, the layer on top is the cornea. And sometimes people, their corneas get infected or cracked. And in this book, um, the main character's cornea gets cracked, and he has to replace his cornea. They have to go to a hospital and do a bunch of things, and they have to replace the cornea because he needs his cornea. And here, these are glasses, but that's just because he wears glasses, but they don't really help at all. And... Is that a book you read? And I've read this book, but I haven't done a book review on it. So look for the book review. And, oh, and um, everyone's iris is unique to them. So 
it's like as unique as your fingerprint, which is like really unique. And they actually, the government actually uses it or like whatever when you go to a different country or something. They actually use it to make sure you're the right person. They put you in front of a machine and take a close up picture of your eye so that they can know that you're not some weird person. And um, another book I have, I've done a review on this. I've sort of done a review on this in my top five fiction books review. Um, Six Dots, Story of Young Louis. Louis Braille. Non-fiction. Uh, wait, non-fiction review, sorry. And um, he blinds himself, but another way, by stabbing himself, but another way you can get blind is when your eyeball, the eyeball itself is perfectly fine. Just your optic nerve here does not work. So it can't transmit the stuff from your brain. So your eye looks perfectly fine. Your eye is perfectly fine. But your optic nerve is not working. And on YouTube, I watched a video by Molly Burke. And she is blind because her optic nerve does not work. So she talks about her life, how it is being blind. And I don't know how she uses her guide dog and that type of thing and what happened to me is that I am nearsighted so anything close up I can see but anything farther away I cannot see and that happens because the picture that my eye gets forms right here and this is the retina around here but when my, the picture forms before the retina, you become nearsighted. If you become farsighted, the picture forms past your retina. And your retina is this part here, sort of around where the veins are from the optic nerve. And then this is the choroid. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, it gives you um, the retina blood and nutrients and stuff and it's sort of like a cushion if you think about your eyeball it's sort of like your brain you have your brain your skull and in this case your skull is this is the sclera 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 which is the around part which is when you look in the mirror you can actually see it it's the white part of your eye and that's a sclera. It covers everywhere of your eye, but your cornea. And, well, anything under your cornea. So the choroid chor gives a nutrients and stuff to the retina and cushions your retina, like a cushion sort of, between your retina and your, and your sclera. And the optic nerve is the nerve that transmits all your signals from your eye to your brain. And that's the eye. Your eye. My eye. Everyone's eye. And yeah. We just called the Costco and we're going to pick up the glasses today and because they're ready and then we get to go and they get to put them on and then I'll have glasses. It's going to be so amazing and we're getting them today. We're getting glasses. No, I'm getting glasses. It's so amazing. Yeah. We just got glasses. I'm gonna pick up glasses today and I get to wear them today. And then nothing's gonna be blurry for the rest of the day. We went to the glasses store and we had to get a number and then like after like five people we finally went and then they gave us um the pink glasses and this is what they look like when they're on me. A 
okay, sorry. <laughs> no, then, just keep it on. It's okay. Then, no, 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 no. It's okay. And then, um, and then the AI said, like, y you wash it like this. Like, you get the cloth. They give me, like, a special cloth. And they say, they wash it like this. And then you wash it like this. And you wash the back and the front. And then you use the cloth to go like this or like this. And then, and they said, don't ever, try not to put it, like, put it on um, with both hands, like this, and take it off with both hands. That way you don't, like, stretch it or anything. So you take it off and put it on with both hands. And then, um, and then, yes, and then, yeah, like right now, there's a crane there. And it has a flag, I think. I'm not sure. And then there's like there. And there's like a tree. I don't think it has any leaves. Whoa, look at those branches. Oh, there's a flag. Oh, I can see what's on the flag. It looks like it has binoculars on. <sighs> like, 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 um, there's a, hmm, what should I do? Oh, there's a, uh, I think there's a pot of flowers over there. Wait, what is that? And there's some type of sign and another type of sign. Oh, there's a soup restaurant. Oh, and one's over here, one's here. Oh, and the sign has a car going honky on it. See? <laughs> Oh my god. I can see. I can see! I have eyes! Oh, and this is the case. It came with a different case, but it was just black. And we're gonna get new, different glasses anyway. So they, they gave us this case. This is like a, an extra case. Yeah. And then you go like, and then you go like this. And then you go like this and like this, and then you take care of it, and you go like this, and then you go like this. And you have to pretend with your other pair of eyes. Yes, it's very special. You have to pretend with your eyes. I can see! Yes. Do 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 do